Hi everyone, welcome to K News 24/7. My name is Cameron. Bafana Bafana head coach Hugo Bros regrets for saying some painful words about K's Chiefs players. When he selected the squad that is going to play against Namibia and DRC, he excluded K's Chiefs players by mentioning that EK's achieves are in Provanga uh, from last season till now. They are still the same struggling case achieves. The national coach further stated that nobody deserves to represent the national team by judging from the performance because by that time EK's achieves I think in JB more than eight points behind Imamilodi Sundowns and beat the Okshawa ITS Galaxy, which was embarrassing. Kaiser Chiefs head coach Mulefinseki was not happy about Hugo Bruce's comments. I know that he is upset because I said that players don't deserve now, actually, currently to be a Bafana Bafana player because of their performances. Now Hugo Bruce realized that he was wrong about all what he said about Ike's achieves, but not 100%. Somewhere, somehow, he was stating facts. I don't think the national coach was wrong by stating that, according to the poor performance that was produced by EK's Chiefs that time, it was not possible to select somebody from the team to represent the national team. On this one, the coach was right because EK's Chiefs being allowed win any match in the DSTV Premiership and even we MTN 8 against the Cape Town City, it was not that convincing. That 2 1 win, eh, Buffett, that was a scrappy win. On the other hand, the coach was not right by stating that the appointment of a new head coach, Mulefinsik, didn't improve anything at Naturena compared to last season. These words sound like he was disrespecting Mulefinsik. Truth hurts, Buffett. So. I don't think he should have spoken such words. But Hugo Bruce states that he didn't mention all this. But I didn't say that he didn't change something because then I attack a colleague on his skills and I will never do that. And it's worse when somebody put those words in your mouth and that he has to know. All this was before we have won against Amazul. I think Ikochi improved after that attack at Mbombela Stadium. I'm a fence. I'm Vusi Dunziki, to be honest. Anyway, Hugo Bruce promised to make things right between him and coach Mulefinziki after this international break. And he stated that some of the things, it is just lies from the internet. I mention such words. So I will take contact with him when I come back. I'm not responsible for the things that someone amongst you tried to put in my mouth and I didn't say. And I quote, and Seki didn't change anything. I never said that. And that is very bad. And I'm really upset about that. If you want to criticize the coach of a team, do it yourself. Don't use me by letting me say things that I didn't say. I'm really, really upset. Remember that coach Mulefinsig is a former Bafana Bafana head coach. So according to Hugo Bruce, he states that he knows Mestenzig very well. And he knows that he is capable of winning trophies. And listen to this. Uh, not a lot, but I have a few meetings when I came here because my first idea was to have him as my assistant. I know a lot of you are wondering why Hugo Bro is so obsessed in clearing his name uh, about what he stated about Kaiser Chiefs players who they don't deserve to form part and parcel of the national team. On the MTN8, Kaiser Chiefs played Mamelodi Sundowns on the first league and during the match, Temba Zwane got injured and Uzwane, he is part and parcel of the national team. So now, Udinga a replacement because he can't play. A replacement, Hugo Bruce opted to go with Upule Modi, who just scored three goals in two matches, Lapaya Gukeza Chiefs. Now, Keza Chiefs supporters are like, How, Mr. Hugo Bruce, you once stated that our players are not good enough to represent the national team. What happened? Because fans, it didn't so good during that time of selection. Ikeza Chiefs being allowed in any match in the DSTV Premiership. We were struggling during that time, guys. So, 
sing and play me that much Hugo Bruce. But after then, Stale Oguinage by beating Amazulu Ngotrenil, Sasha Stelis Ngotunil, Sadroa 11 ne Mamiluli Sundowns. And Gula Mamesha it is wa winil e Amazulu ne Stelis. E performance ka pule muere was superb, so definitely we are deserve a le collab. Pule Mwede was spotted with the rest of the Bafana Bafana squad ahead of the training at the FNP Stadium. Anyway, Bafana Bafana will play their first friendly game against Namibia on the 9th of September and then their second friendly game against DRC will be played on the 12th of September. Both matches will be played at the Orlando Stadium. Marabafetu, do you think Uzusbambu Pule Modi scheme lagu squad? Because eh, competition is tight, Marabafetu, to be honest. Because lang bonus saling, Lyle Foster, Ulipasa, Upisitao, Ukodisang, eh, yeah. Good tight, Marabafetu, good tight. As we are talking about Upule Modi, Victor Shungwani mentioned something because during that match, uh, the first leg of the MTN8, Umodi Unala Azalega Bikona against Ubre Modiba. Uh, the stats were up and Urefri Unigo Upule Modi a yellow card. According to Victor Shungwani, he states that in that occasion, Pule Modi eh, bega deserve a red card la paya because that was a career ending tackle le Aisha ilu Pule Modi again zwa loga gwenzile and uble mo refri a red card let's look at the straight leg ball moves away straight leg where does it go does it go boot to boot or above the ankle let's have a look straight leg there it goes straight to the ankle. So when it mm. goes to the ankle, uh, now uh, uh, the pressure goes up to serious foul play, whereby a player should have been sent off for brutality. Look at how he does. They even squeeze the. Sega Kulumilu principal. But now it's Bonelli. In that case, Opulimodi Begay deserve a red card. It's Philo Shamanyunulis. That's Victor Longwanis analyst without any fear or favor. But. Ungangazis, if Bobo Nangatino, we are exaggerating to Victor. Give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Anyway, Shuloshama Nyunyu means too expensive. Thank you so much for watching. Indonga Nenzela Yona is to subscribe to the channel and join the membership. Just click like below to join and then you will follow the instructions. I will see you next time with something tangible.